Good day, Natalie and Nathan and Lydia and Mason and Catherine and hello, Bella. I'm glad you could be with us too. We're looking at Come Look With Me. And let's go and turn in here and see where we're going to go first. There's the title page and here's the contents. Let's go down to where we're at. Joseph Whiting Stock, Portrait of Baby and Dog, page 14. I'm going to flip right over there, and that is the picture we're going to be looking at today. This one is of a little baby. Joseph Whiting Stock was the uh, person who painted the picture, and it's portrait of a baby and dog. We don't know exactly when he painted it. This one is uh, in Vermont right now. That's where it's uh, sitting in a museum an art museum there. And so a little bit about Joseph Whiting's stock. When he was a child in the early 1800s, he had an accident that paralyzed both his legs. And he was confined to a bed and he made toys for children to keep himself busy. And his doctor encouraged him to take art lessons. And so he did. And he became interested in um, lots of drawings and so this boy this doctor became interested in the boy and he designed for him a very special wheelchair which made it possible for him as an artist to move around for the first time since his accident and so this new chair enabled stock to travel to towns in massachusetts rhode island and uh, new york and connecticut to paint portraits and landscapes. So here we have this, this picture, it, which is a portrait of a little boy and his dog and that he did. We don't have a picture of him. I'd like to show pictures of him. This is another picture that he painted and it shows a little bit about the time period of how they would dress. It was, um, he did some, a lot of children, but this one was of, of an, uh, an adult. Many of the artist's portraits were children in rooms decorated with such riches of color and bold patterned carpets and usually the children had a cat or a dog nearby and some small toys like these that the artist had, had done when he painted these and what he used to make. So we're looking at this one and we're going to just look at this picture really 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 close. Okay, Let's see in this picture if we can just get an understanding and idea of what's going on. If you could touch the child's dress, how do you think it would feel? Is it gonna be smooth or is it gonna be hard? Which one? What do you think it will be? I think it would be a smooth one, a nice cotton dress on this particular child. Can you think of two, two different words to describe this texture? Let's see if we can think of describing words that would help us describe that texture. How about soft, smooth? Those are two nice ones. Can you come up with any yourself? Why do you think this child is wearing such a fancy dress? I don't know. That's an interesting thing. Maybe it just got came home from a party or somebody's wedding? We don't know. Do you think the child feels happy or sad or friendly? And why do you think that? Well, she doesn't have a smile really. I don't know if I would feel happy confined in with my hair done like that. Now let's see what it has in its hand. What's this? That's sort of like a hammer. What's it going to do with the hammer, I wonder? Oh, look over here. One of his shoes are gone. Where's his other shoe? Can you find its other shoe? And sock? I found the sock. I found the shoe. Yep. There's the sock and there's the shoe. And that dog is just looking at that hammer thing, wondering if it's going to hit it on the nose, I think. Okay, so today what we're going to do is we're going to draw a dog. 
and we're going to draw a dog. Oh my goodness, it's going to be so fun. All right, so first we need a plain piece of paper. That's how you start when you draw. You need paper because we don't draw on anything but paper. And get yourself a pen. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw a dog. So let's first write the word dog, shall we? All right. To write the word dog, we have to have a circle. Can you see my circle? And then we have to have a stick on the side. See that? Then we're going to have another circle. I hope you can see these. Oh my goodness. Dogs have three circles in its name. And this one is going to have a line coming down, but we're going to make it turn a little bit. Can you write the word dog on your paper? You write the word dog on your paper. Now to make it easier for you to see, I'm going to use a black marker. You don't have to do that. Let's go over it again. One circle and a line down. Another circle for the O. Another circle and then a line down with a little hook. Now this is going to come the fun part for making this dog. We're going to start out right here by connecting the circles on this word dog. You say, ah, that's not how you do it. But this is how we're going to draw a dog. You just go ahead and connect all of the circles with those two little lines. Okay, you ready? Now we're going to do a half circle. We're going to go from the middle of this circle to the middle of that circle, and we're going to do half circles. All right, good job, good job. Since we're doing half circles, let's do another half circle right here. We're going to go from the top of the line all the way back down to the line. So we have another half circle. All right, let's draw some dots. Okay, we're going to draw two dots in there so that the dog looks like it's looking up into the sky. And this is going to be the nose. And so we're going to draw just a little round dot there. That, But we're not filling it in. No, no, no. Now we're going to make him smile. Are you seeing a dog in the picture? Okay. From the bottom of the D, let's make a line that comes down this way, a little bit of a curve. And then from the middle of the mouth, we're going to make another line that comes down like a curve. And then we're going to join those two lines together. And there we have our dog. So it doesn't look like a dog. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. If you color it in, you'll see, you'll see. So we're going to color this circle in black because that's the nose. All right. So we've used our black. Now we're going to need to choose what color is the dog. I'm going to use this color here. It's sort of like a yellow, but it's a brownish yellow. And we're just going to color this all in here all the way around. We don't want to color the eyes. We're going to leave the eyes white because that will just pop them out so we can tell that they're eyes. If we color them in, it would look like the eyes are closed. Now we're going to co cover this one here and then we see we have two ears. That's what they that is going on right there. All right, and so we color all of this in. I'm going to try and do it as fast as I can so that you can get busy doing your drawing. It's good to go in the same direction, but I'm not doing it right now because I'm trying to get done fast. And that's okay. It gives a texture. Okay, it gives a texture. And we'll do a little bit down here just so that we know that the dog goes below this. Now, what is that double line right there for? Grab yourself another color. I'm doing red. And we're going to color that one in. And there you go. It's a color. There's your dog. And there I did a couple more. We made the word dog. D-O-O-G. We put an ear. 
we put lines, dots, circle, a smile, some lines down, and a collar, and we made the dog. There you go. We'll see you next time. Thanks for coming.